Okay, I'm going to show you the difference um, between a six wire stepper motor, like this one here, and a four wire. This is an Emma 17. This is an Emma 23. This is a six wire, four wire. The uh, six wire stepper motor is similar to the four wire because you have one coil here, the second coil here, full wire, same thing. You've got one coil, two coil. The difference between the four wire and the six wire step motor is the six wire has a center tap. On this particular step motor, the uh, orange and the blue is coil B, and the yellow and red is coil A, but the white and the black are the center taps. The center taps, if you look at the uh, schematic, are not needed. Uh, six wire stepper motors are good for low speed, high torque applications, but Either way, the center tap wires are not needed, and that's that's the whole purpose. And you notice, you got a six wire stepper motor, but a good good more, a majority of your stepper drivers are only for wire, like this one in particular. It even has it up there. You got the X axis, X A plus, X A minus. XB plus, XB minus. You've got the power to power the board and the separate drivers. You got the Y axis, Z axis, and you've got the spindle power with the relay there. But you don't see any hookup for the six wires. You only have four. So in the six wire stepper motor, all you have to do is just eliminate the center tap wires. So these two wires right here, you don't even hook up. But full wire and six wire stepper motors are very similar. Uh, full wires obviously are straightforward. You got one coil, you've got two coil. Same thing, except for the center tap wires are not connected, so. This isn't a very common stepper motor. Uh, it's a 130 ounce holding torque motor, so it'll definitely do whatever I need it to. But. Uh, with it being uncommon, it was very difficult to find the uh, wires uh, I'll put on this one. So, the red wire here is A+, plus. yellow is A-, negative. blue is B-, positive. orange is B-, negative. black is B-, common. White is, no, black is A common, A is B common, so these two, the, the common center tab wires are not, not even needed on the six wire stepper motor. Thanks for watching. I forgot to mention one more thing. Uh, 
with the stepper motors, any stepper motors. This is the six wire stepper motor uh, with two center tap wires, which aren't needed. Um, I already explained that. Uh, you notice when you spin the stepper motor, it spins freely. Um, this actually has a G2 gear on it, which is coming off because I have some threaded rods right there that need to go in there with some couplings. So you notice the uh, stepper motor spins freely. If you have two wires that are touching together. If two of your wires are touching, it is very difficult to spin your stepper motor and uh, make sure they're not touching together because you can short something out. Stepper motors are great generators. I um, mean, you can actually use stepper motors as uh, wind turbines. All you'd have to do is attach the shaft to a propeller and you can actually make the electricity. But if you find that it's, your step motor is hard to turn with nothing connected to it, make sure your wires aren't even connecting together. Make sure they're uh, apart because you might end up damaging your wiring or damaging the step motor. And uh, that's also another thing to realize, too, if your stepper motors are connected to stepper driver, every time you turn your stepper motors, it's backfeeding power into your driver. So whenever possible, make sure it's disconnected or uh, you manually jog the motor where it needs to go.